So what are the jobs in data? You're looking at the business analyst, data analyst, business intelligence, and data science. Um, just as an illustration, what are A and B actually doing? They're using data to build business models to enhance better position making, which then adds value to our corporates, individuals, uh, or, or government institutions. Um, if you look at the job attributes of B, data analytics, it could be a coder, it could be someone with a statistical background, but could also be a, a person with a business background. Uh, so a lot of uh, data analysts actually have business backgrounds uh, these days. And then you get to the, the, the past versus future, future data, most, and the, I'm not sure, uh, but Robert, maybe you can comment on that. Uh, most of the data where you look at data sets from the past, it's, it's descriptive of nature. So a three years, uh, three years outlier analysis for your CBCR, you're basically looking back in time. That's that's called descriptive. Um, I, I guess the, the the link I'm making is that you can resolve that by having robotic process anal uh, analytics techniques and software, which basically takes a data point from your ERP and pushes into it into table one of CBCR uh, in an automated sense. Um, you can use that uh, sort of robotics, um, the, sort of the simple version of, uh, of uh, technology uh, predictive is you take the past and you extrapolate it into the future as a set of data points. So it's an extrapolation based on old data into the future. While prescriptive says, okay, I'm not only taking data from the past, but the data from the whole universe, and I'm trying to project almost in isolation how the future will look like in terms of tax risks, in terms of tax compliance, but mostly tax risks. So the uh, one one example uh, Mary and me have been uh, uh, talking about last week is uh, the more you're you're working from with data from the past, the more need there is to have one data set from the past being pushed to your environment, to your spreadsheet, or to your data lake, or whatever. And that's a fairly mechanical exercise. The minute you start visualizing what risks will come your way from a tax uh, policy perspective, a, a tax audit perspective, you want to start simulating data sets and say, what's the probability I'm going to get hit by an audit? Um, and then uh, the AI tool becomes more relevant. But when we look at jobs and uh, data, um, when you work in a bigger com company, then it's not that you can choose A or B or C or D. You should have all the functions within your company. Business analytics or business analysis, that is really where you look at how can I enable change in a company. Uh, data science is really focusing on the data, data quality, data storage. That also relates directly to point number 12, uh, coder, more to data science, business acumen, really to business analytics, business analysis, understanding what you see and also uh, helping the company taking the next step. Descriptive analytics, there we look at the past, but there we also use regression analysis to really understand what happened. Can we see trends? Uh, are we compliant? Are we not compliant? What is okay, what is not okay. Predictive, we're really going to take a look at, hey, we've done it in the past. If we extrapolate, as Steve said, uh, what would it be? And hey, maybe we can uh, react on, on it. Machine learning, so the prescriptors, is telling us how it will go. And that is maybe based on the past, it is based on really the learning uh, also on the current, also in the future about uh, internal sources, external sources. Most important is we need to understand what is happening. Descriptive, everybody still can understand. We have uh, sales that lead to a v uh, VAT return. That's what we can see. When we talk about machine learning, then you're talking about a business uh, 
and it leads to is really understanding what the artificial intelligence is doing. So uh, main point here is never treat it as a black box. So always know what goes in, what the transformation is or the enrichment and what comes out.